Welcome to Cooking with Taz. <laughs> As you all probably know, at Lake Dispid, we all love eating and sharing delicious food. Who doesn't? <laughs> Our porridge and play and picnic and play sessions are all about playing, but they are also about having delicious food together as a nice way to chat and get to know each other. So I have been thinking about all the food we share at porridge and play and picnic and play and I have come up with some delicious dishes for you to cook at home with your family. <laughs> but we know that it's easy to make lovely nutritious food if you know where to start. So let's start right here. <laughs> Summer is here. Yes! <laughs> and, and that made me think of fruity flavours. Mm, who doesn't like fruity flavours? If I say to you, orange, mm -hmm. or lemon, or strawberry, pineapple, melon, peach, oh, blueberry, oh, mm. fruit is so good for us because it's full of vitamin C, but also it's full of fibre and lots of other things that are really very good for us. But the one thing, fruit is that it's actually rather sweet and that got me thinking possibly fruit was the first ever sweetie <laughs> so today we are going to make something rather cool with fruit we're going to make a good old western classic called fruit salad but ours is gonna be rather special because it's gonna have a beautiful orange setup running through it. Oh <laughs> Great, so let's have a look at what we've got here. I've chosen two different types of grapes Nice strawberries. Mm -hmm. Ooh, blueberries. Mm. Just checking that they're okay. Mm. Um, they are okay. <laughs> I also got peach, and I have a pineapple and a melon and a couple of oranges to make our beautiful orange syrup. Now. I've chosen this fruit, but you can actually choose any fruit you like. You can combine absolutely any fruit. In fact, maybe maybe you can chuck in there all your favorite fruit and then mix it all up with a lovely orange syrup. So, although this just looks like a bowl of fruit, we are going to chop it and share it in such a beautiful way, then only everyone is gonna look at it and go, wow, that is lovely. It's also gonna be really easy to eat. So, you know what comes next? Get your penny on, wash your hands, and let's get started. <laughs> So as well as your chosen fruit, you're going to need a small pot, a peeler, a wooden spoon, a fork, a little bit of sugar, about three tablespoons is probably all right. And also you're gonna need a jug of water and a nice wee knife to do all your chopping. Now remember, as usual, you need a grown up. And for this one, you really are going to need a bit of help from your grown-up. But hey, that's a great skill to get, learning how to chop properly and safely. All right. Great. So first up, to make our orange syrup. Now, if you remember how we made our syrup for lemonade, this is exactly the same, only that we're gonna be using oranges. So, what to do is, we'll peel the oranges, 
and then we're gonna get all the juice out and then we're gonna use the peeling and the juice and the sugar and the water to make the syrup. Let's go. So, we've washed the oranges and now That was a little harder, harder than I anticipated. Um, here's the peel, here's the sugar. Nice. And the water. And what we are going to do with this is we're gonna take it to the cooker and bring it to the boil and let it cook for a little bit. Great. So, we have the orange peel, the sugar and the water on the hob, heating up. I'm gonna stir it a little bit so the sugar can dissolve. And what we want to do is bring it to the boil and then bring it back down and let it simmer for about maybe seven minutes, 10 minutes, something like that. So, while we are waiting, this is the perfect time to get the juice out of these oranges. Let's do it. Ooh, look at this. It is boiling. So what we are going to do now is add the juice of our oranges. Hooray! I have the juice right here. Now those oranges had quite a lot of peeps in them. So I'm gonna use a colander just to Sift it, sift it through so we don't get little bits. Here we go, in it goes. Right. Great. And now, give it a wee stir. And we can let this little pot of goodness just cook away. I would say for a good 10 minutes, so we end up with a lovely syrup. And now to chop. Right, so now that all our fruit is washed, chopping is the name of the game. <laughs> I'm gonna show you some things. Right, so, grapes, you want to do that cut it in half, okay? Here we go, just like that. Mm? And strawberries, take that bit out and cut, uh, cut them in four, just like that. Uh, what about peaches? Well, that's what we can do with peaches. Chop it in little squares, just like this. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Brilliant. And ah, then we'll move to the pineapple. I'm going to show you how to peel that. And I'm hoping to do something quite exciting with it. Melon. So um, I've got quite a lot of work to do. So I'm going to get on with it. With the help and guidance from your grown-up, you can chop the fruit so it looks like this. So now for the melon, I've cut it in half and I took all the pips out with the help of a spoon. And what we are, what we are going to do with it is we're going to empty it, we're going to take all the beautiful melon out of it and then we're going to use this for something special. Okay, we're doing great now for the pineapple. Oh, right, here we go. Ooh. <laughs> Right, 
Oh, well, after all that chopping, we are now ready to put all our fruit together in a beautiful way. So let's go for it. So, mm, really truly here, it's just all up to you and up to your imagination, where you want to mix it, how you want to mix it. So, I'm going to start just like this, why not? A bit of that, a bit of that, spoonful of each. Do, 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 do. And repeat. <laughs> so obviously, for this uh, fruit salad, you do need quite a lot of support, help, guidance from your grown-ups. But once you master chopping fruit, there's nothing to stop you. You can chop anything. So this is going to be a good way to present it, I think, and share it with our friends and family. Just looks nice that we boat of melon. Here we go. That's quite nice, isn't it? Can feel this one as well. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Mm, oh, it smells amazing. I can just tell you my entire kitchen smells fruity <laughs> and lovely and tropical. <laughs> Which is perfect because it's summertime. over here. Also melon has a lot of water which of course uh, it's kind of it's not really water it's like a melon juice really and that's gonna make the fruit salad, salad even tastier. Right like that look at that look at that how cool is that so there you have it and you think I've forgotten, but I haven't. We still got our shit syrup to put on. Gonna do that in a second. Right, fill this up nicely. Look at this, isn't that nice? So this is one of the things that you can do. You can use the melon to put some of the fruit salad on. And then the rest of it, you can just mix up here, put some more pineapple in there, and a bit of melon in there, give it a good stir, mix it all up. Ooh. Oh my, the smell of this. Oh, that is good. All in there, hey? Give it all up, because we've chopped it. Get it eaten. Mmm. Oh, that pineapple is very good. Mm, mm. Great. And now for the final touch. The final touch with the syrup. Okay. Back in a minute. Okay. So here's our setup. Look. It doesn't look like much. I mean, in terms of quantity, perhaps. But this is super intense orange flavor because we used not only the juice and also sugar and water, but we also used the peels, the peeling. So that will make a really intense in flavor. And oh, it smells so nice. So with this, what we're gonna do? We are just going to pour it over. A little bit in here. And a little bit in there. Ooh. Okay, and spoon. Are we stir there? Nice and juicy. And in the middle there of this big bowl, look at that, look at that, look at that. That looks great, doesn't it? Look at this. You've got a massive fruit salad here to share with all your family and possibly lots of your friends as well. Um, fantastic way to eat fruit, don't you think? Well, I think I'm gonna have to taste it just to see if it's worked. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna get a little bit of this just to eat taste. There's a mix of fruits there. Oh, let's see. Mmm. Oh my. 
Mm, mm, mm. On the pineapple, and then the grape, and the juice. Oh, well, what can I say? Happy summer! Cheers!